Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the removal of Fog from Escape from Tarkov, one of the best updates in recent Tarkov history. Do me a favor, make sure you're dropping a like on this one here today, and of course, make sure you're subscribing to the channel for more PvE content. Let's hop right in. So these environmental changes that we've been getting from the Kita and BSG recently have just been amazing. I mean, the addition of Snow a few months ago, loved it, and now the removal of Fog. I played my first raid last night with no fog on shoreline and I genuinely could not believe how crystal clear the map truly was. And I'll throw a little bit of gameplay in the background for you of me sniping at a PMC to get the 500 meter PMC headshot achievement here in PVE. It is honestly amazing how crystal clear the map truly is without the fog. And just seeing your tracers fly through the air is some of the most satisfying shooting, in my opinion, in Escape from Tarkov. And it doesn't matter if you're using a bolt action or if you're using an automatic rifle. It really does not matter if you have M856A1 or BT or M62. It does not matter. Seeing your tracers flying through the air for some reason is extremely satisfying. And with how clear the map actually is now, I cannot wait to hop on every single map and check every single one of them out and be bringing something with the scope every single time. So I'm going to show you a screenshot. It's a fairly old one. It's actually from 1212 and this goes to show how long we've been asking for a reduction in fog. This screenshot is one of my screenshots. I believe it's me shooting at Sherman but it's on woods and you can see how much fog is there and it's about 250 meters I'd say from where I am sitting to where Sherman is sitting. And um, you can see how bad the fog is and just compare it to the gameplay I just showed you. It's crystal clear. And where I should have been sniping, if I played the clip from where I think I played it in editing, uh, that should have been around like 700 meters, somewhere in that range. So 700 meters, crystal clear, compared to 200 meters and almost foggy enough where you just can't see. And there's plenty of occasions in recent history where the map is so foggy, you cannot see even 100 meters away from you. So to transition in this video to how can you best abuse the no fog, that is going to be tracers and scopes. Now, the scopes is completely your preference, but when it comes to tracers, there are a lot of options that have a pretty high projectile speed that are going to get to their targets without a crazy amount of bullet drop. Now, with M62s, what you just watched, uh, getting there with, you know, a 450 zero, I'm still aiming what, like five mil dots down in that scope. That's, that's pretty hefty on the drop, but at the same time, it's very easy to calculate after a few shots, you know, how much bullet drop there's truly going to be at any range. It really doesn't matter what range you're at. It's just getting the calculation down of where you need to be aiming to get that tracer on a headshot. So for me, M62s, they are available at loyalty level 4 for Peacekeeper, and I've been buying them every single restock. You can only buy 80, but when you're bringing in a Bolty, that's not too bad. Now, if you're running like a 308 MDR or something like that, you know, 80 M62 is going to go pretty quick. But if you're stocking them up every single restock, then you can start to get yourself a nice little position of them. Now, Peacekeeper does have one of the lengthier restocks in the game, but... It's nice to at least get a powerful tracer every once in a while. So uh, I do have all of the tracers listed here that I would recommend for some of the longer range combat. And it seems recently when I release these videos, pretty much anything I showcase in the flea market just gets bought out. So try and get some from the traders and don't overstock by people selling on the flea market. A lot of the traders, as you start to level up, uh, will start to sell some of these tracers that I will showcase here today. So the first one, the T46, this is probably the option I would recommend you guys go with. Get yourself like an SVD or something like that so you can run a pretty powerful tracer round. It's going to be better than most here that we are going to look at. And uh, at 386 rubles a round, that is not bad at all, especially comparing it to M62 at $6, 6 USD a round. Uh, you know, T46, not a bad round at all, and you can buy 120 per proper restock. Definitely not bad at all. And um, probably the round I recommend you guys use if you don't have max traders yet. So we already covered M62, which is not showing here because I have actually purchased my limit on the restock. You cannot purchase M62s off of the flea market they are not able to be sold there so you will have to find them in raid or get them from peacekeeper once you hit loyalty level 
four. All right, the next one's going to be the T45, 7.62 by 39, moving into some of our assault rifle calibers here. Um, you know, it's not a terrible round. It's definitely not a great round either, but the T45s, they're 218 rubles a piece, and with a 1,000 limit, if you want a round that is going to get the job done, the T45 can. It is one of the slower projectiles on the list. I think it's like 730, 720. It is 720, so it's one of the slower projectiles on the list. Uh, but it'll get the job done. You can get a thousand of them per restock. And, you know, if you just want to bring in like an AKM or something, throw a scope on it, throw a 45 angle on it and, uh, get yourself a little red dot on the side. You could go that method if you certainly wanted to, but, uh, T45, a tracer that will get the job done, but definitely not my favorite. Next is going to be M856A1. I love this round. Four USD per round. It's definitely not my go-to. M62 is going to be my go-to any day of the week over 856A1, but if I can't run an M62, this is where I'm going next. Personally, I really enjoy running almost any rifle chambered in 556 here in Tarkov, and you get 120 rounds. It's not great. It's not bad, but if you stock these up per restock, it's really going to help you out, considering it is Peacekeeper as well. If you run out of M62s, you have at least 120 rounds of M856A1, and it's just kind of one of those rounds. It's a lot of fun to use. You can get a decent amount of them. And even if you're bringing in only a few 30 rounders to snipe with per se, uh, it'll, it'll be plenty of ammo for you to get whatever you need to get done. Next is the poor man's tracer of 556, and that's going to be M856. Uh, pretty low pen, not a great round. It's definitely a fun round, and it's basically your T45 equivalent for 556. But a thousand, you can't really go wrong. If you need five, five, six backup tracers, you know, you can grab a thousand of these. If you wanted to get your 120 uh, A1s and then you wanted to get, you know, whatever you need for the rest of your gear uh, in regular A5.6, you could certainly do that. But it's probably not the round I would recommend you to use, but it is there for you if you need it. And it should be available a little bit sooner in the Peacekeeper loyalty level. We're going to skip to BT and then we will end it on T. Uh, BT, probably one of my more favorite rounds to run for 545. Um, honestly, I don't really love 545 AKs or anything like that for long range engagements. But if I ever have a scope on one, BT is what I'm going to be running. Now, if I'm just fucking around and having fun, I'll definitely throw on T. But BT has enough pen to get the job done, and, you know, it's still flying at 880. So you're going to be getting the projectile there in about the same speed as 5.56, and that's really all you can ask for. So just a direct comparison of BT to A5.6A1. Throw both of those on screen for you right there so you can kind of see where we're at. The pen is almost identical. The damage is damn near identical. And the, uh, you know, the travel speed, projectile speed... Obviously, 5.56 has a little bit of the upper hand, but uh, they're very similar rounds. So whatever you're more comfortable with, AK platforms, NATO platforms, doesn't really matter. They're about the same. Now for the poor man's 5.45 tracer, it is going to be T. And you can get a thousand of them, just like the other tracers, a thousand limit. So you can see you are really limited on the more higher pen tracers. But if you are at those super long ranges, it shouldn't really matter if you're not getting nearly as many rounds because you shouldn't need that many rounds that, that's the best way to put it you know if you are sniping you're going to hit your shots eventually and even if you're not hitting your headshots uh you're probably going to get a couple thoraxes in and you know if you get a couple legs in you'll take them out eventually you should take them out in, in five shots or less uh, especially if you hit a leg or a thorax you're bound to hit uh the thorax or the head eventually so tracers will they go up in price I doubt it. I mean, T46 might go up. You might see these, you know, go well over 1,500 rubles a round just from this video. But other than that, all the other tracers should remain fairly cheap. You know, you can't sell too many of them. A56A1 cannot be sold on the flea market. M62 cannot be sold on the flea market. BT cannot be sold on the flea market. So the higher pens, you can't even sell them. So it's not like there's going to be any price manipulation. It is simply just you getting them from the trader if you are a high enough loyalty level and i don't know if any of these are quest locked if you guys know that information drop it down in the comments there are plenty of other tracers in the game you know there is a uh, t45 
300 blackout m62 but the projectile speed is like 400 something it's not really going to be what you're looking for and of course just regular green tracer for nine mil but once again you, you're just not going to get the job done at the extreme long ranges with those calibers it's just not going to happen and um you know that's why i chose this list here today to showcase to you guys so hopefully you did enjoy this video if you haven't gotten in a raid yet i highly recommend hopping on tarkov and checking it out and one more quick thing if you listen to the end of the video i truly do appreciate you but if you didn't know eod players now have full access to pve every single eod account can now get on pve so get in the game check it out no fog and getting access to pve for the first time for 50 percent of the eod player base that is absolutely huge and uh it has not been a better time for you to get involved in the action do me a favor drop that like make sure you subscribe to the channel sponsored equipment below it's gonna be it for me thank you so much for stopping by i'm out